Oh, greetings everyone. We're making a video on Fishing Planet here. I uh, decided to download Fishing Planet again lately and was looking for some ideas of good places to fish. Uh, we're right at level 45, so still got some work to do to get up to the higher levels. Um, I did fish for a while. In fact, the only reason why I'm this level is back when the level 50 map in the United Kingdom came out for carp fishing. I fished that a while. That was probably the time period that I played Fishing Planet the most. And because I had that DLC, I was able to go there and fish for however long I was able to. I don't even remember. And catch a bunch of carp. So that kind of, first of all, made a lot of money and also got a lot of levels that way. But now we're back to level 45. And I was just wondering, like, until we get to 50, where's a good place to fish? Um, and a lot of the videos suggested sturgeon fishing at... at at California so I want to before I even get started the, the video that I really watched the most closely and got the most ideas from is definitely this by KP Shimino so I want to give credit there um, not that this spot is new I mean I think especially I'm going to show you two spots and you can even see here on his video which he called fishing planet best money farm sturgeon California high level gear baits 80k in 30 minutes so we're going to be sort of taking a little less intense look at this spot because um, I'm not level 55 like KP is, and I don't have all of the gear that, that KP has. So we're going to be doing more. I think the gear that I have is probably, well, actually, we'll take a look and see kind of what, where it is, where it falls. But um, yeah, I wanted to give KP Shimino credit, though, because if not for this video, and then also many other videos. Again, you, if you've watched Fishing Planet videos, you'll recognize these sturgeon spots, but I kind of wanted to try it for myself, see what the experience does, um, uh, is like to actually fish these places and see what the experience and, and money is like. So first of all, I wanted to show you license, kind of what you're looking for in terms of cost. So for a one day advanced license from about 8,000, and then to travel 9,800, so kind of keeping your mind almost 8,000 just to get going, um, to, to get the fishing trip started. But as you'll see that, oh, I was gonna show you the shop first. Okay, so this is what we're using. All three of my setups are gonna be almost identical. Uh, it looks like we have a Le Levathon 9,000. We've got the Kraken 8,000. And then the Ambusher 9,000, the one I just purchased from the shop to have a third setup. But it looks like all three of the line, all three of the rods are cat boxers, and um, you know the the, the the rod itself goes up to fifty pounds. The max drag on the ambusher at least is forty nine pounds, so it's all around that area. We are using forty four pound fluorocarbon line, and the same thing forty four pound fluorocarbon leader. So that's one area where. You, according to what level you are, you may not have access to that. So let's look at some of this really quick. Bottom rods, the one that we have is the Cat Boxer 9.2, and so that's 30,000 to purchase one of those. We also have one of the smaller ones as well, but they're very similar. And you can purchase this one at 44, you can purchase this one at 42, you can purchase this one at 41 and that's about it now do i think you could do it with this one it goes up to 35 pounds yeah i think you could um, but i think it, you're going to be fighting the fish for longer so it won't be quite as efficient uh, but as long as you can get up to this level so 41 feels like when it's going to at least be a more comfortable spot now the higher level players are using much bigger tackle and so they're able to just sort of flip the sturgeon in oftentimes. Um, let's look at the ambusher. So the ambusher is here, it's 40,000, but you could be fine. I mean, cracking 7,000, you're still in a very comfortable place. Um, the thunder spin, you're good. This is sort of the cutoff, right? So it's like level 39, you can go to 37 pounds on a reel. You're still probably okay, but it gets more gets a little bit more comfortable at level 40. So again, like we said on the ride, around level 40. Um, and I think that's 
is it th around, I think it's in the mid thirties that California is opened anyway. So that's the real, and then the thing with the line, that's actually fluorocarbon liters. So let's look at the fluorocarbon line because this is also where it gets a little dicey. Um, they sort of are always sort of for putting you in positions where you kind of want to um, spend bait coins. But the 44 pound line I have must have come with that carp DLC or something because I can't even purchase that in the store. But I've tried it and you're fine with 40 pound. So if you're level 40, again, level 40 seems like a big level. You can comfortably do this. But I will tell you, I think that as long as you get into the 30, uh, 35 pound, it's still going to be fine. It's still going to be fine. You know, we're just chilling anyway, right? So at 35 pound line at level 38, I think that would be good as well. And then always look at the fluorocarbon leaders. You know, since the, at some point, Fishing Planet made that change where we're having to use leaders as well. Um, and I think, again, I'm using fluorocarbon leaders that came with the DLC. When those all get, get busted, if I'm not higher level than I am now, then I'm going to have to use bait coins to get these 39 pound test fluorocarbon leaders. So I might as well go back to another 40 pound fluorocarbon line, right? So that's actually going to decrease me because to get the fluorocarbon leaders that I'm actually using, you got to be level 46. So it just depends on how much fishing I do. I may end up at 46 and may be able to get these. To actually get these, uh, so you need to be level 48 to get the shorter leader that's at 40 pound. And then you need to be level 52 and 53 to get the 44 pound leader. Okay. And I think that's all you need to know. Um, I ended up with either six or seven ounce sinkers. We are using four out hooks, four O hooks. And oh, we can take these off. We're using a uh, we're using a stand. And you'll notice I'm just going with three setups. A lot of people take four setups to these spots, um, which I guess is more efficient. But man, I was plenty comfortable. I felt the, the bite rate, at least in my test run, was was great. So we'll see if it if that was an aberration or if it's good this time too. Now bait, we're using spawn sack, which targets turgeon quite sturgeon quite well. If you go to fresh baits, you'll see that you can get spawn sack without bait coins at level 39. So there's that number again, 3940. This becomes a lot more manageable thing. Now to get crab, when I hit 50, I can spend bait coins to do that, but I don't really want to spend bait, bait coins if I don't have to. And so 55 is when you can fish with crab. Crab is what the high level players are using for this spot and probably they're getting trophy sturgeon and stuff more often is what I would guess. The other thing you can use is muscle meat. I think muscle meat works really well from what I've heard. But again, I've got two levels to go before I can even purchase muscle meat. Unless I wanna spend bait coins, they may not even have muscle meat. By the way, I tried duck muscle meat and I got a trophy common carp, which is not what we were going for. So I don't know if that's, yeah, I don't see muscle meat for bait coins anywhere. Um, so it looks like we just have to wait till we hit 47 for that. Okay, I think that's all the preliminary stuff. Let's actually travel and um, let's go fish. Enough talk from me. Let's go fish. So I'm going to be taking this kind of slow. I'm not trying to, uh, to rush through this. And so my focus in getting back into Fishing Planet is not necessarily like, oh, this is the most efficient thing to do. I just want to find, you know, good places to fish where you can make reasonable amount of experience and, uh, and money. So we're going to be going here first. This is going to be spot one. Spot two is probably the one that if you've seen this type of fishing before for sturgeon is probably the one that you'll recognize. Spot one is where we're going to start though. And, um, let's go ahead and get over to where we're going to be fishing and then we will fast forward time. Cause we're going to just be doing straight night fishing. You really could do it at 5 a.m. at the beginning of the day, but you wouldn't want to do it for long. I mean, really, this is a night night, night fishing exercise. I don't remember how it all works with skipping time, premium, not premium, how long you have to wait. But um, I think, oh, you know what? We don't want to do this. Let's just go to a private room. Let's just go to a private room while we're doing this. Um, I think that as long as you 
from watching K KP Shimino's video, it seems like if you do, um, if you kind of do what I'm going to be showing you here, you're probably okay on skipping time. All right, first of all, we are here at the dock. We're going to start the engine and we're just going to go straight left. You'll see the marker over here in front of us already. So there's the marker. And then this is where we're going to be fishing. So let's go ahead and skip till nighttime. Um, and then we're going to start at 9 p.m. All right, so first thing we want to do is get our, our, our stand. And this is why I'm using three rods instead of four is because I'm not high enough level to get the four rod stand, which I don't even know what level that is. I'll have to look in the store soon. So we're going to go ahead and just put all three rods out with the spawn, so uh, spawn sack. And basically what we're wanting to do is catch two to three sturgeon at both spots in two different time time zones uh or time frames and i'll show you show you more about that in a minute all right just for fun let's put the uh duck muscle meat on this one just curious if we'll ever get a sturgeon holy cow i've got to turn the volume down on the bells it's gonna take me a minute here folks So as you probably know, if you've played Fishing Planet, I tell you what, I'm not going to talk until I can turn the volume down. I forgot how loud these bells are. As long as that first line keeps tension, then we're fine to just try to get the second one in. All right. So it just lost tension, so we're going to switch. Now we'll work on this one again. As long as the other one keeps tension, we're fine. We've almost got this one in. Go ahead and keep that. And let's try to get the other one in. And then I'm gonna adjust the, the sound. Oh, we're getting a bite on the duck muscle. It's probably a common carp if my last experience. All right, hold on. Let's don't let it escape because I am curious what it is. Isn't that a carp? Look at that trophy common carp. That's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. Now, you don't actually want to catch those because <laughs> you've only got so much weight in your, uh, in your keep net, right? So the sturgeon are worth, even the regular sturgeon are worth a lot more than that common carp is worth. So you don't necessarily want to, to go after those. I was just wanting to see if the if that was going to still catch if if there was any chance the sturgeon were going to get on those. All right, so we can take a look at this one a little more closely. So 46 pound, it's worth 3,200 bucks and 627 XP. So we'll keep that. And let me see which audio setting does the uh, bells is that going to be is that going to be interface all right let's see if that does it i'm really not sure i don't know if they have the um fish alarm sounds separated is that quieter So 
so we've already gotten two sturgeon from this spot at this time. That means we're on pace for what we want to be on pace for. If we get a third one here, we're just um, we're just going to be a little ahead of the game. You don't want to stay too long though. If you're not getting a bite fairly quickly, then uh, then then that probably means it's time to move on. Just going to look at this real quick. This audio again. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so let's see if we get another one. We won't wait long, though. So see the trophy common carp? The experience is okay for the size. I mean, it weighs about half as much, right? But it's about a third as much money. And you saw how quickly that happened, which is why four rods to me just seems like it's a little bit overkill. Although I'm sure if you get efficient with four rods, then, you know, you can fill up your net. I mean, it's just all about how long are you taking to fill up your net. And, you, you know, because of the price of traveling here and with the license to maximize your profit, it, the bigger fish net you have, obviously, the better you're going to be per day profit. But it seems like a pretty good fish. All right. I know we only caught two, but I don't think we want to wait any longer. So what we do here is we get in the boat, which will pick up all of our rods. So that's just basically the fast way to get our rods off the map. And now we go to our second spot. You see it's still just after nine. I mean, we've only been in game for 21 minutes. All right. Now this time we want to put, there's not an exact spot, but just kind of over here. Next time we go to the other spot, I'll show you the um, where the where the markers are. Uh, so real quick, we have the first one here at 97, 93. The no, okay, that's the first one. That's the other spot. Okay, so that's where we were before, 97, 90, 97 minus 93, and then where we are now currently, our first spot we're throwing to is minus seven, minus 36. And then the second spot is going to be minus 44, minus 41, if you want to put markers down. And then this one's minus 48 and minus 33. And finally, minus 51 and minus 28. Now, if we had four, obviously we would put one on each spot. Uh, I don't have four. I, I find it helpful to cast this from over here because you're, you kind of—it's a little awkward how you're putting this down on the uh, on the fishing holder, uh, the the rod holder over here. So we'll go ahead and put this down, and then what I usually do is just rotate on these over here. The the left spot I typically do. No, that's still really loud, isn't it? If there's really not a way to turn down just the volume on the the bells, that is. Yeah, that's just going to be environment like sounds. OK, we'll just cut the volume way down. Even that's still loud. That's frustrating. And see, now I can't hear the fishing very well. If anybody knows any fixes for that, I just, especially making videos or when I'm streaming, I do not want to have that kind of sound going off in people's ears. All right. It doesn't sound like another one's going off. So we'll just go ahead and focus on this one for a minute here. Go ahead and get this one in. I like this left spot over here. So I tend to keep one over on this left spot the whole time. I rotate on the others. We should be able to get this in and still have time. I am going to go ahead and um, instead of recasting, I'm not going to take a chance of this bite getting getting off. We'll go ahead and catch this one. So after we catch this fish, 
I'll move it to the last one over here. Just kind of keep rotating them through. As long as we catch this, we'll be at two. Again, we want to minimum catch two sturgeon at each spot twice, right? So that ends up with at least eight sturgeon. And at eight sturgeon, unless my calculations are way off, at eight sturgeon, you're already looking at a, at a profit. Another nice fish. All right, so let's rotate this guy over to here. Put that down. And then we want to get this one back out. I really like this spot over here. A lot of times you'll see people fishing in this spot and they'll just kind of be focused at four spots over here kind of along here, but I'm finding it really nice uh, consistency on this far left spot. So I like that. All right, looks like this is the middle line going now. So the one that we just put back in. Seems like this is a pretty decent one. Oh, now it doesn't feel as big, does it? I'm still sort of getting used to the fishing and fishing planet versus Russian fishing for. It's a little more mechanical in fishing planet to me, but it's still fun. It's better than most, better than most. All right, so we're gonna rotate this one back over to here. And I think it's okay to be a little patient, but you know, you just, I mean, so if you look at our keep net, we're at five and we're almost halfway through. We pretty much are halfway through, but you could take off 22 pounds. So we're kind of at 200 of 550, not counting the trophy common carp. And it's still only 9.42 p.m. So we haven't even gone through one hour yet. And you could go like hour by hour, but it seems like the sturgeon are really hot around 1 a.m. And so we're going to pretty quickly move from this spot back to the other one, except at 1 a.m., and that'll pretty much, I think, guarantee between that spot and then this spot again that we'll be able to either fill our net or come really close without having to wait real long. I mean, I think if you're patient, you'll eventually get more, but we're kind of trying to balance that with some level of efficiency here. Yeah, you don't, you don't typically have to wait too long. <laughs> and we can see what the... Yeah, see, see the hot period for this night really doesn't start till 11 p.m. But the sturgeon don't seem to care that much. I mean, you've noticed we've still caught sturgeon, even though it's a little lower here at the start of the night. But you might adjust the times a little bit as you're as you're going through if it's if it seems unusually slow or something. Okay, so I want to try something. You know, from the other spot, we got in the boat to remove all of our. Uh, fishing rods I think that'll work here so let's go fishing over here if you try to do time you can't because the rods are in the water right but I believe that once you get in the boat um, yeah so that does bring everything up so now we can skip time so let's go ahead and get over to the spot and then we'll fast forward time so this is going to be the same spot, just part two of the same day. So first, let's get this back out. And now that we're sort of in the, the hotter time of fishing, we definitely want to get at least two here this time. 
All right, it's 1 a.m. Let's get our first one out. And let's get a couple more sturgeon here. And we'll have the spawn sacks on all three this time. Instead of having those, uh, the duck mussels or whatever that thing was that catches the trophy common. We're already getting a bite, it looks like. Like, even if there was a way to turn off the sound of that thing and then just use the bells on the end of the rods, like, that would be a lot less annoying, to be honest. So the cool thing about this spot is, according to how big the sturgeon is, wow, we've got three on right now. See, I was hoping we were just going to be able to flip this one out of the water. Sometimes you'll get that early pull. All right, let's go ahead and... Is this one still on? Yeah. All right. Now we're just going to have to be careful here. We're going to have to look and see who's got... Make sure that they all stay tight. And then switch them as we need to. So if any of the fish sort of start swimming towards the, the rod, they'll have a tendency to get off. I don't know why we haven't just flipped this one up yet. Here we go. All right, looks like we need to get this this one over here. Ooh, barely. I think that one was about to pop off. That jumped out there. That was awesome. There it goes again. All right. Yeah, there we go. 44 pounder. I think we're going to get all three of them. Going to get all three of them. And then we'll put them back out. Let's see if they're still active here. You seem to be able, I mean, in my experience, you seem to be able to catch two to three in the first hour that you're at the spot, like around nine. But then I think in the one o'clock time, feels like it's more like, according to your RNG, there's a pretty good chance you might get three to four. But by then, even with the really large keep nets, I mean, you're pretty much looking at a full day of fishing. This looks like a good one, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a real nice one. All right, let's get these out back in the order. Just like to know number wise which one I'm dealing with. And let's see if we can't get one more out of this spot before we move. I don't know that we necessarily need to, although it might be nice. We're at 365, 360 pounds of 550. Somehow we got snagged on the second one. And again, this marker over here is at 97.85 and minus 93.74. I don't feel like at all you have to be exact with these markers. It's just giving you an idea. Let's see if we can't get one more though. So we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight now. And they're coming in at about between 35 and 50 pounds a piece. So we've got room for at least four more. So yeah, it'd be nice to get one more here because we probably can fit up to six more in our net, five or six. But again, if we finish, I don't know how, how long you really want to wait. You know, it's like once the spot kind of dries up a little bit, it kind of makes sense to move on. And so, 
in some ways, in terms of time, it might be better just to, hey, we didn't quite finish, fill up our net, but we're close. Let's just move to the next day and get them again. Um, what are we at right now in terms of, so we're at 25,000 in our net. What did we say it was? Like 9,000 plus, I think it was like 17,000 to come here. So we're already in profit day one after buying the license and travel cost. And of course that's gonna change somewhat dependent on if you're premium or not. But either way, it's, it seems really lucrative, especially if you do it two or three days in a row or more. Okay, this feels like it's definitely slowed, right? All right, let's go. We're in the boat, so now we can move, go fishing. Let's go ahead and put our thing out here. We'll see how close we can get to filling our net up. That's too bad. <laughs> We're gonna have some crossed lines here. All right, I'm gonna try to get is that is there a fish on or is it just acting weird? I think there is. Try to get the other lines out before we catch this one. Sounds like we need to fish at 3558 on our next RF4 leveling video. All right, so how close are we to getting this one in? I can't see because of that YouTube comment. All right, let's just put this one down. I think we've got three fish on again. All right, get some tension there. Uh-oh, there is slack in that line. We're gonna lose that fish. Oh goodness, we got it. Okay. This kind of gets a little stressful. It seems like this time around, they're just all hitting at the same time. This wasn't necessarily my experience last time. All right, so let's actually, this might be a little risky, but let's try to get this back out. And see which one do we need to get next. They're both pretty tight. Let's try this one first. Oh, that's a pretty decent one, I think. Yeah, it's actually still taking line. Well, now we've got another one on. Okay. Let's see if this one feels like one we could get in a little quicker, maybe. Now it's pulled some line, too. Big sturgeon. So now that we're in the, uh oh. Yeah, it just wants to pop in, go ahead. There it is. All right, I am not gonna try to cast this one back out. This is the one that's worrying me the most in terms of slack. And it's been on there a while, so theoretically we should be able to land this one maybe. If the other one gets off, it gets off. I just don't want to miss this one. It seemed like a decent one. Okay, somehow we got all of those fish. So this will be our fourth in this position. Um, we're not going to quite have a full net, but we're only just going to be like one fish short, I think. 
we really want to live on the edge, I guess we could cast the other ones back out and then fight this. Maybe at least cast one back out. Where would we cast it to? Maybe one of these right spots. Let's try that. We'll go with the middle one. I don't think we've cast to the middle one. Or did we not cast to the third one? I can't remember now. Because we do still want to get one more if possible. Yeah, this is a big boy. This might be a 50 pounder. So what I've thought about doing, and uh, I've thought about, because I have a uh, secondary Steam account, and I've thought about starting a free-to-play leveling guide on Fishing Planet. I just love the leveling guides. Um, well, I, and I don't even know that I would call it a leveling guide with Fishing Planet, because I don't know as much about Fishing Planet as I do with RF4. I might just call it a leveling series. Yeah, that's a nice one. Um... So if there's any interest in that, let me know. I, and I think the thing that I would do to try to distinguish it from, from other leveling series out there is I might focus pretty heavily on, uh, on feeder fishing. Because, I mean, I'm sure we would do some spin fishing. It's, ho it's hard to miss out on spots like New York with the walleye and the pike and that kind of stuff. But... Um, what I've done the least of in Fishing Planet that I'm the most interested in is like, yeah, some of the, you know, they've added more like European style spots now. And even from an early level, you can do a lot of that. So I'm just kind of curious what that would be like. So if there's any interest, let me know. Something I'm kind of playing with. I wouldn't stop the RF4 stuff. I would just kind of do it alongside of it. Space them out a little bit. But it seems like that might be a fun experiment. So what, what level are we here? And see how it suddenly just like slows down? I mean, I think that's, you know, that's what these spots do. And I don't know how patient you'd have to be, to be to wait for another bite. I mean, there's a lot of night left. It's still in the hot part of fishing. We probably would eventually get another fish here. But our net is almost full. And so arguably the thing to do at this point is just to like go to the next day, you know? We have a total of $36,000 worth of fish, way more than we paid to travel here. And uh, you know, if you add up all the experience, that's a lot of experience as well. We're slowly moving that bar. It still takes a while to level at this, at, when you're this high level, but nothing like the amount of time it takes to level an RF4, I feel like. So let's go ahead and uh, even though we've got room for 25 pounds more in our net, let's go ahead and act like we are done for the day. So the easiest thing I think is to go here and get in the boat, bring all your gear back in, and then we'll get off the boat. Um, and so then of course you hit T to go to next morning. There's no cooldown period from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. We've been fishing long enough that the other cooldown has come off. So we'll be able to cool down to nighttime again the next morning. So we go to the next morning. We want to extend for 2,000 or we can go home. So I'll go ahead and go home and just I'll eat that extra 9,000 and travel or whatever just to kind of show you what one day not quite filling up our net uh, gave us here. So we are currently premium but you can kind of see the difference whether you're premium or not. Even non-premium, you're making money on the first day, even after travel costs and all that. So it seems like a really good spot to me. Uh, and I'm thankful for all the other folks who have found all these spots, especially KP Shimino, who kind of put it in a video that I was able to sort of dissect and try to understand. So if nothing else, this is just a, um, 
a video showing my experience trying to follow what many people before me have done in trying to level. And I think if we stuck to this like for several days, we would see pretty good progression. I'm not sure if this is the fastest way to level at our level, but it's got to be it's got to be one of the faster ways and my the money I'm making in this spot. It's just like you know, Amazon's coming out soon, hopefully in the next month or less. There might be some nice pricey gear to buy. Well, this is a good spot to kind of get ready for that, I would say. All right, as always, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.